Here we have the patch bay of both desks, you can see they're almost identical. On the tabs we have inputs, outputs, directs and inserts. Let's navigate back to inputs. And along the top of the matrix you'll see the physical devices connected to the system. On both desks you can see stage boxes, local I.O. and Pro Tools. If you look down the left hand side of the matrix you'll see all of the DSP channels. As we're in the inputs tab, this of course is all of the places I can patch my physical inputs to on the mixing console. As you can see the profile has 96 input channels and 8 stereo effects returns with a somewhat limited DSP. The S6L has 192 inputs. These are divided up into groups of 64 in the patch bay. Unlike the profile, each one of these channels is fully processed so I can choose to put my effects return wherever I want within the patch of my show file or project. The colors next to the channel names match the choices that I've made for the control surface color switches which are underneath each of the faders. There's also two new buttons for convenience in the patch bay. If you press the first button on the top left hand corner, it will clear the patch of the selected stage box. The button next to it will give you a one-to-one -one patch from the physical inputs to the DSP channels. So you can see patching in the S6L has maintained a lot of the workflows from the profile while adding a couple of new features for convenience. Thank you.